This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Changing images as you move. Right now, these conditionals, which are if statements. So right now, these if statements only do one thing because they're checking a condition. They're checking if something's true. Only do one thing. They change the sprites X or Y. Okay, let's make sure. Oh, yeah, I hold down, up, down, left, right. Okay. A common thing to do in games is to change the character's image depending on which direction they're walking. Oh, yeah, I see what they're doing. You're going to make a bug that always faces the direction it's moving. Do this. Using the provided program and images, duplicate your choice of bug images four times. Edit each image of each of your images to point in one of the four directions. All right, let's do that. So I'm headed to animation. Oh, ooh, we get options. I guess I'll do the B. So I'm going to duplicate it. To duplicate it, you see these two square things? It's kind of hidden, but... Right here, I'm going to press once, twice. So there's four directions. I need one, two, three, four bugaroos or bees. This will be right. And just so I know, I'm going to put, or I mean, I guess left. This will be B left. Um, and I'll just put B right because otherwise it gets annoying to figure it out. I'm going to mirror this guy to face right. So there's a few ways to do this, but I'm going to use the mirror. Bloop. All right. Now, I guess this will be B up. It'll be up. And how do I want to face up? I might just counterclockwise up. Okay. And then I'm going to make this be, be down. Cool. And I need to turn facing down. All right. So I got all four of them. Yep. All right. Write code so that the sprite set animation, write code that uses sprite set animation to change the image on your bug sprite when the arrow keys are pressed. All right. So Oh, and they left a line as a hint. Well, first off, my bug, I don't want to fly anymore. I want my B. And I guess my default, right, when the program starts will be B left. So far, so good. Now, I want this to change only if they're pressing the key. Well, they've already given us big hints here, right? If key down up. So keep in mind, an if statement works like this. You're asking the computer a question. If key down up is true, if this is true, the computer responds true, and it runs the code inside, then it keeps going. If it's false, right, I'm not holding the up key right now. So when I hit run, it says, if key, it's asking a question, hey, computer, is the up key down? This is false, right? I'm not holding it. The computer says false. It doesn't run the code in this blue mouth thing because this was false. And then it just keeps going. Now it would check if the down key is down. Say that's true. Say I'm holding the down key. So then the computer would respond true. It adds five to the Y value. So the Y value of the bug is equal to whatever it used to be plus five. So it pushes the bug down five, but then it keeps running, right? Next if statement. Nope, they're not holding left. They're not holding right. And keep in mind, this is a counter pattern. So if I'm holding down any of these buttons, bug continues to increase or decrease 30 times a second and appear to move in that direction. Now, if I am holding up, what do I want to do? They said we want the animation to look like they're actually going up. So I'm going to pull this out. I don't have a sprite, right? I have a bug because what did I name or they named the variable bug. And so if they're holding up, I want the B to look up. Now, if they're holding down, B, I mean bug, make sure to use the correct uh, variable name. And then I'm going to make them face left. Left is the default, but if they start facing right and then hit left, I still need to make sure to change it back to the left animation bug and right. Okay, let's do reset and a run and give it a shot. Left, right. Ah, rah, 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 rah. We are getting to the point where we're going to be able to make some awesome, awesome games. Conditionals are super helpful and so ski down. All right. Let's keep going.